Ciao guys and welcome to Lempis. As you can see today I'm not in my usual place and we are still in Rome visiting Alice Prince since we came for the Christmas holiday. In this video I'm going to share with you New Year's resolution ideas. Excuse the cats in the background they are playing around but they just went by it's fine. <laughs> so yes Alice Prince have about 15 kids out here and we are filming outside so before we start with the video, I'd just like to thank you all for tuning in to Lempi. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so right away. We release videos every week. And most important, always leave a like if you enjoy my video, like your opinion or anything, any idea what you think I should film in the next video. I usually, I, I love to set goals. And New Year's resolutions are not anything other than just really setting goals on what you want to achieve in the next 365 days and um, it is very important that when you set these resolutions you also have a strategy on how to achieve them i know so many people that have set resolutions for the new year but there are very few people that really trace those resolutions throughout the the year and work so hard to achieve them very very few so in this video i'm going to give you some uh, resolutions ideas for 2019 and strategies on how you can achieve this what i do before i set my new year's resolution is first to look back at resolutions for the previous year like what i've set for 2018 and check if there's anything on the list that i haven't achieved that i can postpone to then 2019. When it comes to setting New Year resolution, I divide this section into three main topics. First one for me, important is always personal health. That is very important. The second one is usually career development. And the third one for me that is important is relationship. And when it comes to relationship, I'm not only talking about your boyfriend or your husband, I'm also talking about relationship with your family, friends, just how to have a better relationship also with your community in general. First, I'm going to need to put on my shoes because it's getting really sunny and difficult to see. Personal health includes things like doing more fitness, like going to swimming, going swimming like once a week or once a month, going to the gym more often. It can also be like eating healthy. Like I know I'm one person who really need to improve uh, the kind of things that I eat. Growing up in Namibia, I eat a lot of meat, but I feel like now that I'm in Europe, you don't really know how meat is produced. And one of my goals really to eat less meat just because I'm nervous that there might be more chemicals and stuff in this kind of product. So just eat a little bit healthier, more vegetables is a good new year resolution. Travel more. For me, Travel is something that really heals you, like it just soothes your soul if you, if you just really work long hours when you need just a break from life just to recharge, to refresh. I love to travel. It is important to set a daily routine. It just makes your life easier and it allows you, it gives you more time because you kind of already know what you have to do every day when you wake up and what you have to do every day in the evening when you come back home so, so one thing i said for this year when it comes to career and uh, working environment is to diversify my income my source of income so it's not only increasing how much money i bring home but it's also about just making sure that i have maybe extra source of income like investment a small business outside my job just because a job is a nice thing, even if you're on permanent, but you know, you can't always rely on it because you might get fired or anything. So it's really good to try to diversify your income. Another thing when it comes to career is to, I also said to build a better working network. And I, I do want to achieve this by going to conferences more that are related to my field of study, going to monthly seminars with other biologists or other scientists just where i can really just gather with people that i know that they they are studying the same thing or they work in the same environment so learn a new language maybe this year i'm gonna try i am trying to learn italian italian better now than ever i know because my 
Bubuccino here is Italian. If you don't want to learn a language, you can also learn something like uh, a new software that you know that will help you in your job, maybe to get a promotion, or you can do a short course. You know, if you have like a PhD in biology, like I do, you can also do other things like a short course where you can earn maybe a project management certification or a quality assurance certification. All these things that you know that when you put them on your CV, people will want to hire you and they want to offer you, of course, more cash for you. Uh, the last session, which is relationship. Uh, this year, for me, the first thing is the relationship I have with my husband that I really want to improve. And one of the things that I want to do this year is to, to make sure that we have something that we enjoy together outside working together. Like, I really said that we have to do monthly spa every, like, we have to go to the spa once every month. We usually, because we live in Brandenburg, we go to Tropical Island, which is really nice. It, it sounds super expensive, but we have discovered a time of the day that we can go when everything, the prices are discounted by 50%. Like, I want to add this to our routine as couples. Develop a relationship with my friends that I haven't seen in a long time. Just making sure that I call them more often. Making sure that um, I meet up with them because in the past, especially when I was doing my PhD, I turned down so many party invitation and you know like when my friends were contacting me on skype only i didn't have time so i want to go back to that and try to build those relationships that i remain in good time if i have if i'm going through something i can call them anytime and i want them also to know to know that they can call me anytime and i'll be there than just saying you know i'm in the lab i'm in the lab today i'm in the lab I, you know so that is when it comes to relationship When it comes to relationship, we are not only thinking about, you know, have a pet. If you really, you live by yourself and you don't have anybody to communicate to every day, just have a pet that you can chill with after work or before work just to help you relax. When it comes to how I achieve my resolutions, I always note everything down in my notebook at the beginning of the year. Then the next step is to just uh, you know really digest those uh, goals into smaller sections that I can I can work on uh, little by little and I always set due dates you can't achieve anything without a due date you know so guys that was it from me today thank you so much for watching if you enjoy this video please subscribe give us a like and most important guys leave a comment in the description below see you in my next video ciao 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 and have a look at this beautiful view of Trignano it's like oh and, and a at, happy new year and happy new year to you guys yeah and look what I have got here Jack but Jack you're not clean and you are smelling bad